Today in Tracy's basement, we're sharing some geeky Christmas collectibles. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we are sharing a couple of our geeky Christmas collectibles that we like to put out during the holidays. For example, off to the side of me you see a little Christmas tree. This is actually Adriana's Christmas tree and as you can see it is full of pop culturally relevant awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, we decorate that little tree for every year. It was smaller last year but we had to get her a bigger one because we started getting too many uh, <laughs> randomly little geeky things. Yeah, people but. give her decorations pretty much every year for both her birthday and Christmas. Yeah, and we throw some of ours on there too. Like, But she's got lots on there. She's got her little Disney princesses and... we got some superheroes, Iron Man. I don't know if you guys can see Batman yet. That's you my... should be able to see him. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> we got BB-8 because Adriana loves BB-8 now. All kinds of awesomeness. Uh, some of my favorite ones on this tree actually aren't uh, store-bought things. A couple of years ago, we made Ninja Turtles <laughs> out of little green baubles and uh, ribbon and whatnot. <laughs> Love these, so cute. Adriana and her cousin made them uh, while we were having a sleepover one year and they've survived. I actually didn't think they were gonna survive very long since we actually made them. <laughs> couple other things if you have like a smaller tree like this that are, are really cute and easy to put on the trees too uh, are these little uh, figural key rings. <laughs> uh, Adriana got me one of these blind bags, these Mega Man blind bags for my birthday and uh, it came with the Mega Man game stuff like that but uh, yeah and I luckily pulled Mega Man so, <laughs> yeah, of all surprisingly. Them. Uh, and so key rings very easy pop on the tree obviously. And another thing that's pretty fun to put on the trees if your trees are nice and small are these little NECA scalers. <laughs> I don't know how good you guys can see out there. This one's Gizmo from Gremlins. Yeah, they, but, uh, they cling very nicely onto the uh, the light wires. Yeah, the okay. Christmas lights, yeah. And of course, Gizmo. For Christmas. Well, yeah. Well, we also have like Freddy and Jason and Godzilla on our tree. But, uh, but yeah, this one's a little closer to Christmas related. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, if you have a small tree, these are pretty fun to put on it too, because they just cling right to the light wires. You can put them right up to the light so you can see them good. <laughs> it's, it's just a fun thing to put on the tree. They're not meant. They're meant for like phone cords and headphone cords and things like that. But we, you know, it's just another little fun thing you can put on the tree that you can get pretty easily. Something else we have. You guys may remember seeing this in another video. I told Jason to put it away because it isn't Christmassy. She needed room for Christmas decorations, and we shared that in the the basement geeks group. But well, we thought we'd share it here too, I guess. So, in order to circumvent Tracy's little rules, I fixed it. So now it's Santa Batman. So if you guys remember my Batman gaming fuel bowl, fuel bowl, now I have a Christmassy Batman gaming fuel bowl. My parents are gonna be real impressed with that when they come up. Your parents are always impressed with everything we do. You can also see behind us a couple of cute stockings. This one is Adriana's because she loves Ninja Turtles so much. And the 8-bit stocking over there is Jason's that I picked him up a couple of years ago. I don't have a cute geeky stocking. Well, we'll have to get you one. Then. Yeah, you're going to have to find me a cute geeky stocking because I feel left out now. <laughs> okay. Something else we like to put out around the holidays are the few Christmassy Funko Pops that we have. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Two of them are Rudolph and the Bumble from the classic Rankin Bass cartoon. They are so cute. The Bumble's my fave. The Bumble is aw- I mean, Rudolph is super, super cute, but the Bumble is yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. The only problem is, I kind of wish he was an oversized pop. It'd be pretty cool, yeah. But <laughs> then, remember, these came out during like the early days of pops. Yeah, too. exactly. These are pretty old pops. I don't know if they even had oversized at the time. I, I don't know. So, but they but, are super, super cute, and I love that show. Yeah. That is like one of the best cartoons ever. Yeah, well, it's a Christmas classic. You watch it every year. Uh, we only have these two, 
Uh, yeah. And we weren't crazy into the, the pops at the time, and these have been vaulted for quite a while. Yes, quite a while. If I remember. I'd really like to get a Yukon Cornelius. That, oh, uh, he is the best character. Just throwing <laughs> I up the thing. so much. Mm, nothing. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the Bumble. I love them. This is actually one of my favorite pops of your collection. Actually, is, yeah. Is he's, the Bumble. He's super cool. He, he's extremely cool. I love the little and tuft on his head and the fangs and everything. We need to get Santa somehow, too, though. I know. Did they... you ever notice in that uh, show, like, Santa is, like, a complete douche? Oh, my... <gasps> but... He has several lines that just make you go, oh, man, Santa. Santa is a real, <laughs> like, just jerk in that, that show, man. Like, they... They really cast him in a bad light if you really watch it and pay attention. Like, Santa, he's a real... He's not cast in a good light. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super awesome uh, Christmas special. Very yeah. cute pops to have out during the holidays. But two more that we have, and this is from our favorite Christmas movie ever. ever. Possibly just the best Christmas <laughs> movie ever, depending on how you like your movies. And it's Clark Griswold and Cousin Eddie from Christmas Vacation. They are so awesome. Yeah. Such an amazingly great movie that makes me laugh my head yeah. off every year. We watch it every Christmas Eve with your parents, yeah. and it's just awesome. I think the table might be a little unlevel here. Oh, no. Because oh, he stands up, so there we go. <laughs> Clark, Clark's pretty... They, they did their best trying to make him recognizable. Um, he's... A little less recognizable from like a distance. You have to get in really close, but they did their best with the little moose yeah, mug with the eggnog awesome and uh, <laughs> you know the little bells on his hat. Uh, this is one of the examples I'll, I'll use of how like simple human characters sometimes don't translate very well to pops because yeah. what's the most defining feature of Chevy? His, his chin. chin. Yeah. His butt chin, right? <laughs> like. Which, it defines yeah. Chevy, and not having that on there just kind of gets rid of the, you know, Clark Griswold look a bit, right? Yeah. But they did their best with the adding the little moose mug, so that really, yeah. really helps that, out a that's lot. That's a key component in making him recognizable. Yeah. And, and the little bells help a lot, too. But the real uh, show stealer of the Christmas Vacation Pops is Cousin Eddie. Definitely. The, yeah. You cannot mistake this for anybody when you see the hat yeah. and the cigar. And the beer in his hand, and, and he's wearing the bathrobe. Like, you are not going to mistake yeah. this character for anybody else. Like, that is just definitively Merry Christmas, shitter was full. <laughs> so. He's even got the little hairy chest. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> because, like, you can't mistake him for anyone else. Yeah, from a distance, if you if he catches your eye, you, you can easily tell, what, like, far away, that that's Cousin Eddie, you know, getting ready to empty his toilet into a chemical sewer mm. like it, it's just so clearly him it's so perfect that is a well done uh regular human character pop because Very he has well lots done. of distinguishing traits exactly to, to tell who he is that that they don't have to get rid of and he's so. an awesome character of course <laughs> <laughs> and while we're on the topic of Christmas Vacation, we recently picked this guy up. I've been excited to open him up and add him to the Christmas display. It is only our second vinyl idol, and it is Clark Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we really wanted to show off today, because as cute as the pop is, this is Clark Griswold yeah, right here. <laughs> that looks exactly like Clark Griswold. They did an Just awesome job. claymationed up. Exactly. Like, <laughs> um, I like. I'm kind of sad that the vinyl idols line didn't really take off. Yeah. I think a lot of it was because of some of the licenses they used. Maybe. But uh, like, because if you get like the good ones, the really good characters, they really have this uh, claymation style look to them. That it's really I don't know, neat looking. It, it it's it might be a little niche, maybe I don't know. And again, like where pops are so mass market and they're like copy paste template mm -hmm. kind of. Uh, figures right uh where those are so distinctly different so but there's some out there that are just really really well done and this is one of them that is one of them i love he's got the cardigan on you can see his tie he's of course holding the moose mug again and with it's the eggnog got eggnog in it the hat with the bells and everything and his face is awesome yeah that's the difference with him and the pop is you can tell by the face exactly. right away that it's clark griswold like there's no mistaking it he's got the buck chin <laughs> There's no walking by him and going, is that Clark Griswold? It's, hey, look, it's Clark Griswold. Exactly. Yeah. 
This is very nicely done, and like I say, it's only our second vinyl idol, but I'm kind of getting into them because some of them are really, there, really there are well a couple. There are a couple I want, uh, namely like the Young Frankenstein line. Yes. I'd like to get those, uh, but we're not doing a Halloween haul or anything right yeah. now. So <laughs> this guy here is just awesome, and been dying to open him and add him to the display upstairs. So we figured we'd just show him off a little bit today. And if you guys want to see some close-ups of some of these figures, check out our Instagram because we'll be posting some pictures of these guys on there. So those are a few of the geeky things that we put out during the holiday season. We're really curious to see what kind of stuff you guys have, so let us know in the comments section below or go to Basement Geeks and share some pictures with us. We would love to see what you guys have. Yeah. Love to see some of the things you guys put out uh, in the Facebook group. That, <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from TB on Twitter. Wishing everyone out in YouTube land and all the basement geeks a very happy holidays, Merry Christmas, seasons, greetings, all that good stuff. And of course, as always, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye!